Hello my astrology friends, this is Lada from astrolada.com and these are your September 2023 video horoscopes and September we have three planets changing directions. What does it mean? Your life will change direction. Three planets, Venus is turning direct, Jupiter is turning retrograde, Mercury is turning direct which those three planets rule six out of the 12 houses, which means six areas of everyone's life will shift, will change with two planets turning direct for the better, with one retrograde, maybe it will just change, take a different direction, doesn't have to be negative, just an alternative direction, but six areas of your life will be shifting big big changes i'm very excited before i start i just want to let you know that i've compiled for you around more than 600 transits of transiting planets to nato it's a written ebook it's interactive you can click on the transit you're interested in and it will take you to the text very extensive text what each transit means or you can watch your transits on my personal transit calendar which is for free for everyone for the next four or five days always but this book is a work of uh, love that i've created over four or five years me and my teacher we've written all the transits in depth if you want to own it for a very small amount it's hundreds of pages an early bird will get a big discount of 30 percent on this ebook so let's start with the horoscopes Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, September 2023. Aquarius, the month starts with Venus turning direct on the 3rd of September and it was retrograde in your 7th house for the last 40 days. Some of you might have had some crisis even in relationships. Some of you might have had a lot of people from the past meeting, uh, loving reconnections with others, uh, with friends, or even exes reconnecting with you. But also retrograde Venus, which was invisible till the 20th of August, as well might have created some reconsidering of basically partnerships, contract agreements, not reconnecting with people from the past, but also mm, changes in your relationship, rethinking is this the right partnership, some crisis as well in relationships or contracts or agreements. And now Venus is turning direct and it's already visible. So, and that's the luckiest planet for all Aquarius because Venus uh, rules lucky positive houses for you. So you're going to have a lot more protection now and any kind of complications in contracts or delays in contracts, delays in partnerships. So if you are working with someone to do something and maybe they've been slower than normal, maybe they've been some having to redo something over and over with another person that you're dependent on and there might have been frustrations, all this starts going away and any kind of dependence on you on others, they start moving faster, forward, according to expectations. Oh, if you've been working hard, on some project in uh, in a combination with others or another person and it's been kind of more you know you've been putting the hard work during venus retrograde now it's when it starts turning direct you're gonna start seeing the positive and the results of those efforts and things that depend not just on you but on others will start moving faster and that will be a good time sorry if you want to do contracts to sign agreements to start relationships if you want or your relationships will improve as well and things will start moving more according to expectations and easier in that area of your life and at the same time venus turns direct jupiter turns retrograde in your third house for most of aquarians aquarius rising people this is the third sorry the fourth house so change of direction something can change in your at the beginning of the month you know around the fourth maybe give it a week before and a week after when a planet changes direction when the changes can be seen that can be some change in the circumstances of your environment where you're living some of you might move for example that's exactly when because i'm aquarius rising we'll be moving from one place at the seaside to another place into inland so something changes with the circumstances of your family, of your place of living, or you might want to change something there, uh, or with your family. There can be some change of directions with the development of 
regarding to a family because Jupiter is though uh, benefic and it's making trying to the sun after that, a few days after. I think there will be much more on the positive side. And some old opportunities can come to you. Maybe you can revisit home and family or reconnect with family members you haven't seen in a while. That's retrograde for you. And maybe you can go back to your country of origin, for example, or maybe you can become more interested to reconnect with the past, with the roots, fourth houses, your ancestry, or maybe even to explore with a psychologist and to have some really illuminating, because Jupiter is knowledge. Jupiter is wisdom and light and understanding, really illuminating realizations about your family karma, about your family constellations, as they call them, about the family relationships. And possibly Jupiter will be retrograde till December during that time to have some deep realizations and heal some wound from the past or from childhood, reconnect with the past, forgive, let go, because Jupiter is a forgiving, compassionate planet for something that is holding you back that is connected to karmic patterns in your family. For example, there might be addiction in your family, you can realize something. There might be constantly a divorce in your family or certain illness, and you might be able to re to bring light and understand this and end the cycle, for example. On another more mundane level, Jupiter going retrograde in your fourth house can be uh, not just changing place of living or changing something with your home or picking up some home project that you left to complete it. Uh, it can be in some extreme cases, uh, more rare, but in some extreme cases, there can be some more unpleasant change in your family circumstances with a parent or with a loved one. But that's only if Jupiter is only it, it's very rare. You know, this is a benefic planet after all. <laughs> Or some kind of a reversal of situations connected to family, to personal life as well. So that's about Jupiter in the fourth house. So maybe an opportunity to get a property or to move back where you used to be before can come back for you. Or to move to, to explore your subconscious and psychology because Jupiter is this, emotion, uh, this fourth house, is emotional healing house that can come to you. And uh, the other planet that is very important this month is mercury which is retrograde in our eighth house till the 17th till the 15th of september so they can be focused during that time on taxes if you haven't completed you might need to bring in some documents and of course they can be a bit more stressful anything connected to insurances inheritances uh connected to money that comes to you from others, partners, resources, money that comes to you from governments, or money that you owe to others or to governments, or loans, anything to do with not just your own money, or investments, you might be rethinking them. And while Mercury is retrograde till the middle of the month, these things might feel more complicated, more delayed, any mortgages and such kind of stuff. You might be rethinking maybe to remortgage something, you know, uh, or maybe you might be when it comes to money that comes to you from others, whether it's clients or business partners or your marriage partner, there can be some delays or changes that are happening there, something that you have to rethink and readjust to. But then, and then eighth house, it's another emotional, psychological house, just like the fourth where Jupiter is uh, going retrograde and Mercury is retrograde in your eighth house. It's again connected to the invisible world, to psychological complexes to traumas from the past, it can be a good time to rework, or even if you're not doing it with a professional, just by watching astrology videos, or just by being more contemplative, you can realize some things from the past, because Mercury is the mind to have a realization, to understand it with words. So it's a really good period, this whole month, especially till the middle of the month, to have psychological release, to have things from the past coming up, uh, even some kind of power struggle, sometimes about money or about values, about what's important for you and what's important to a partner, which is another side of the eighth house, to be spoken and said such things. Mercury retrograde asks you to address those things. On a more material level, it can be rethinking your business strategy in some way or re your investments. Uh, because eight house is also where like money that you put in a bank in investments with businesses or uh, stock market or to rethink your budget family budget with your partner for example 
because there might be like more spending or more something a bit more complicated but this turns around from the middle of the month when mercury turns direct so if there was some delays financially money that you're expecting or money that comes to you usually from clients or if you are thinking your plan of you know how you uh, financial plan in some way it will start giving results from the middle of the month when mercury becomes visible and also turns direct this is very rare not only it turns direct and becomes visible this is extremely important this is very rare mercury becomes visible just for about a month here and there throughout the year because it's so close to the sun so this is so rare mercury will be so powerful and it will be visible and direct in the sign of exaltation so that will be the strongest mercury we have had in years starting from the middle of the month so you, something a beautiful can be born in this eighth house uh, something very <sighs> beneficial uh, so for example suddenly the second part of the month new ideas can come to you because it's the birth of mercury new beginning new ideas can come to you how to make money through others through your clients more money can come to you some business plan for that maybe your investments can pick up uh, maybe some new idea where to invest or whatever that brings you good very good income uh, because it's income that's kind of like you don't have to work for it that comes that you've invested already eight house is also maybe something good can happen in regards to taxes to insurances well the first part of the month is complicated with such things but maybe you do something that after that you get really good results and if you want to start some new business venture that is connected with another person or will be connected to other people's resources uh, whether it's their talents or skills or whether it's their knowledge or whether it's their finances or whether it's your clients money this is the time from the middle of the month or if you want to send your taxes or if you want to send for a bank loan if you apply if you want to apply for a bank loan or if you want to apply or invest in something the second part of the month it will be very auspicious not the first part of the month don't if you want to start a joint business venture, if you want to invest in some kind of, I don't know, pension or anything else, so you can get uh, returns or anything that comes to you from your partner, for example, your partner can get really good. Or if you're divorced, some other money or more money can come to you. If you're suing someone for money, this is the time to do it from the second part of the month or good news can come about such things. Uh, and also because it's a very psychological house uh, if some secrets have come up first during mercury retrograde in invisible now they can be cleared up they can be resolved if some power struggles have come up when mercury was retrograde and invisible in your eighth house or some deep realization psychological about traumas now you can really start moving forward with resolved such such kind of all this dirt comes to the surface is released so there can be like a healing crisis that comes that uh, washes away years of pain and it's very mental it's through a realization maybe you read something maybe you have a deep conversation with someone i would advise you this month especially around the middle of the month when mercury starts turning direct and visible where it will illuminate you with information if you can do some family constellations while jupiter is already retrograde in your fourth house where it will help illuminate you there or some kind of psychological work or read some something more deeper you know you really benefit psychologically and anyone who is involved in astrology the occult anything to do with uh, forbidden knowledge conspiracies or even scientific knowledge and research the beginning of the middle of the month is when you should make a step to announce it when you should make a step to offer a new product or where you can have a really insightful astrological or psychic reading or very insightful uh, uh, with a psychologist or realizations even on your own the middle of the month till the end very powerful time for that this is uh, the most important events that are happening aquarius if you want to look at your personal transits check out my transit calculate the calendar which gives you for the next six seven days every day it updates for another day 
uh, your own personal transits, what planets will affect you, because this is just for your sun, moon, or ascendant in Aquarius. There might be a lot of other things happening. And there is no other such personal transit calendar that is free when you make a re when you register or you can buy it for a much longer time ahead. You can open it up. Thank you so much.